Hello everybody and welcome back. It's been a hot minute since I've uh, played this, so... I'm pretty sure last time I was stopped in the middle of a place for a bunch of like witch people, witches. So that's fun. One of the best ways to take them out is with sleep darts, which I had to go buy. Because I ran out. So... Alright, let's see what I can do here. A lot of shit to do here. Lots of crap to do. And hope I don't get seen. Alright, let's see if I can remember what the f fuck I was doing. Hey. Okay. okay, that's the one that's above me. And none of them seem to be below me, so that's good to know. Okay. Huh. That's an interesting painting. A big Cthulhu monster, probably a Kraken or some shit. Which I know aren't really, like, you know, Cthulhu monsters and stuff, but still. The person over there. Ooh, that's the thing we're partially here to look at. Uh, oh, there's a person up there. A couple people. Well, that's fun. To know, what the frickin' know? Hmm. A three there. Pretty much can't mess with them at all because. Unless they drop down from there, hitting them with a sleep dart, not a great thing to because they might just fall to their death. So, let's head this way. Oh, locked. Uh, let's take a look. Is it locked, locked? Do I have a... Nope. Okay, I don't have a key for this. <laughs> We can always do that, though. Okay. That will work. Report employee refactions infraction to the management office. Not right about that. Uh. Mm hmm. If taking that would be a bad idea. Something's gonna happen if I take that. So let's not fuck with it yet. I don't even know if that thing does anything, so I'm just gonna poof over here. Ah! That's the key to that door. Okay. Okay, I'm good on that. Uh, eat some food. It's a rotten one, don't want to eat that. Because that's disgusting. What is that connected to? What is what is that exactly? Hmm. 
Did I, dis did I disable it? I don't see a thing in it. Oh, those are unrelated. Okay. See, the prototype. What was this? An early, mecha an early mechanical prototype by Esmond Roseboro that could be used to upgrade non-chemical firing mechanisms. Hmm. Huh. I want to push the button, but I also don't want to push the button. Because I don't know what the hell is going to happen if I push the button. See, is this an open window? No, it's not. I can feel my power go. I can hear her voice. Hmm. Feel her spirit touching mine. Okay, no way around that. Without actually breaking the glass and getting everyone's attention. And you're here. Uh, was it eight? No. Um, nine? Yeah, nine. All right. Squeak, 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 squeak. Let's keep going. That kills the rat. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, Haven. Well, she sees what I can do with a little cat fur and the foam from the drowned man's leg. Let's see. Um, I'm going to use that. Should have waited, but. Well, I guess I need to get over there. Just before Delilah came to her room, I wanted to know what it was. I see him coming. See my dart. All right. She's Delilah's favorite. She can't know that. All anyone knows, I'm the favorite. And why not? I'm gonna put you up here so you don't get seen by your friends, or you have a less likelihood of being seen by your friends.
So right over there. Things I don't know if I can choke these people out. Ooh. Can. Okay, good. Good to freaking know. I think there's ones I just couldn't because they weren't automatically hostile. Alright. That's good. I can knock them out regularly. That is good to know. above me hmm if I can open that little thing from here so those two there are an issue just freaking drinking tea that's all they're doing up here that's it that's not a painting I can take can, however, cause a distraction to make them walk around a little bit. Okay, but there's that, whatever that thing is there. Hmm. Person there. A person there. They wouldn't necessarily see me taking her out unless I went up there. Hmm. That looks like a thing over there. What's in here? Oh. Hmm. These are regular apples. Was there a flammable a flammable one out here? A thing of wine. This nope, that's not flammable. Shit. Alright. Cool. I grab that. Thank you. Shira Pirate Caves. Oh, that's another one. Okay, another map. Cool. Hmm, I wonder what's up with that. X on the mat on the mouth. Alright, that's a thing, but that's also breakable. Just take that.
Oh, it's Jessamine. Okay. I remember how putting your hair up that way drove you mad, and how glad you were to take it down. Hmm. Alright, well, this is the way I'm supposed to go. Through that door. There's a piece of fruit or something in there. Some people in there? Uh, oh, that's an alarm clock. Ooh, window. Here's my flammable one. Like that. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. About what? What's this? What is that? That looks interesting. There's a book in there, too. I'm not going in there just yet. I need to get... Find out what that is. And I also need to... Um, get her over there. Bone charm nearby. Uh, I kind of wish I had another flammable thing to throw at that. Hmm. Huh. I could have gotten up here from down there, couldn't I? That's kind of shitty. Alright, where is that? I hear a thing. these. Oh, it's in there. Right there. Yeah, that's normal. Um, all right. Use all these dead bodies. Let's see, what is this one? Spirit water? Oh! That would have been nice. And I guess that would be nice for one after uh, the whatchamacallums. Duh. Hmm. Going after these things.
All right. They just keep coming from these things? Ugh. Oh. That's why. There's another one of those hanging around. All right. So that's done in here, at least. Pour the gin over the sugar and stir. Oh, that's for some weird thing. Okay. There's another one in the next room. What the hell was that noise? Strange noise, that. Hmm. Alright. Uh, time to take this nest out. Is that a flam that's not a flammable flammable one, is it? Oh, that is. Oh well, shoot. All right. Uh. Hmm. Don't want to eat. Don't want to eat those. Oh. No, don't want to eat the rotten thing. No idea what the fuck that is out there. Uh, was this outside? Let's go ahead and do this. I deactivated this, right? <laughs> yeah, good. All right, let's go ahead and trick take this over here. I can remember how to get there. I'll get it sometime. Get it eventually. Ah. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, here we are. Right through here. Welcome, welcome. Have you heard? I'm told they robbed one of our shops. No way. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First, your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. Cool. A fair deal. Yeah, let's let's see what uh, upgrades you have. Let's take a look. Always a delight to see you. And one of those. Uh, what's this? Okay, what's this? Stinging bolt. Got that. So just that. Uh, how about? Okay, got that. It's here. Uh, 
finish on unlocked super contests. I don't know how much that would really help me, so. Hmm. Well, that could be interesting. Uh, District is so cool. Get this. Right, I'm certain you will be satisfied. Sure. We, we just, just, just do this. That spring razors are useless to me. Uh, I don't know upgrades for those. That's useless to me. I don't know what that is. I'd love to know who made that mask. Very interesting. Hmm. I got most of the crossbow ones I want. And that causes enemies to flee. Uh, let's see what he has. What else he has left. What's this? Howling Bolt, Stun Mine, Grenade. Blood flies are worse here than any district in I think I've already opened that. And it used to be such a prosperous district, too. Alright, I think that's enough. I look forward to the day when I can reopen my now, I need to figure out what the hell I'm going to do to avoid all the witches in that fucking room. Well, uh, one that doesn't involve killing them. Should I just amend, it, amend myself to say that? Person over there. Oh, that's that one courtyard, but there's a bunch of them. That's 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 good. <clears throat> right. I'll head up from this way and head across. Yep, get up here. cost anything, so that's fun. I'm gonna go and equip, uh, no, uh, ba -ba -ba. uh, ba -ba, this one. Just so I can regen, get some of that, uh, mana back from drinking water. I mean, kinda nice. I can abuse the shit out of that. Uh, which one was the open one? Over here. This one. There we go. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. I don't know if I want to know. To be honest. Probably be good to not actually know. Okay, so there's a person there. There's two up there. I don't know if there's any up top. And this doesn't this doesn't go that far. So thing with this area, I'm gonna miss quite a few things, I think. That's gonna be the thing about this mission. Is due to what enemies are around.
always the one who has to gather moss under a full moon. Seems like whenever it involves missing sleep, they always send me. Glad they don't have uh, eyes in the back of their heads, like the freaking uh, constructs. Though the constructs you're allowed to just destroy. Oh, that's good. Whatever the hell is down there. Whatever corpse lies down there. Oh, fun. They got all sorts of fun stuff here, don't they? See, I thought there was one. All right. What was the purpose of finding this again? Warning from Brianna Ashworth. All of you, if you share my loyalty to Delilah and to our coven, heed my words. Again, I was haunted by nightmares about the Oracalcum. Oracalum. The original lenses Jin Josh used in the device nearly ruined me. I felt Delilah's magic flicker and the flame she rekindled in me almost went dark, like it did after Brigmore 15 years ago. I fear another accident like that will cost me everything, my connection to the void, my magic to magic self. We cannot afford any more mistakes. I will study the discarded lenses in my workshop, then have them destroyed. Remember, remember that Delilah is relying on my efforts, and the Oracalum aura is attuned, attuned to me alone. Do not, do not interfere with the device. Only I have a chance to control the oracular sisters. If I can sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. The regular order divide. Is this new? That's not new. So this could be tampered with. Ashworth could be cut off from the void entirely. No more witchcraft. Okay, so I need to find the lenses, wherever those are. Up there. Hmm. Alright, got this one. Good, good. It's another one that's down and unconscious. Let's lay her right here. Okay. Okay, so that one lady was just over here before and moved, I guess. Okay, those two are fine where they are. I don't have to worry about them. For right now, at least. Did not notice you, though. There are a lot of them. Let's see here. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. Don't know what that shit's about. Let's just ignore it. I wasn't sure if those were ones I could just take. If they were, like, the treasure ones. But I'm not going to open... 
or break open certain things because it will attract attention that I don't want to attract. Right. Uh, it's directly. I'm gonna keep in mind these. There's two more bone charms and one rune. Then you keep an eye out for. Got these two unconscious ladies here. They're just relaxing. Like you two can relax. Have fun doing whatever the fuck it is you do. Um. I do have to go up one more level. Somehow. Ooh. Good, I was able to make it up here. Fantastic. Mind Runner. Let's see. Your possessed human host can sprint. Interesting. Let's just go back to full. I think so. Let's... Get to the top of this. Oh, that's a, that's a thing. Here we go. The Foreign Curse, written and researched by Tabitha Alba. That is new. The Great Rat Plague, the Spreading Death, the Foreign Curse. These are names we give to the Z's that bloomed briefly, taking tens of thousands of lives as it spread across Crystal from home to home, town to town, preferring neither rich nor poor. The capital city of Dunwall suffered the most, settled so thickly by both people and rats. Many feared the plague would spread across their, spread to Cercanos, but even beyond the but even beyond the naval blockade affected at the time. Several factors kept the sickness from reaching our shores. First, in Sarkanos, the population of, disease, population of disease carrying rats was kept in check by blood flies. Natural enemies, rats are known to feed on blood fly larvae, and, natural, and fully mature blood flies lay their eggs in rats. Oh, that's fun. Second, it is simply true that Sarkanos are health, Sarkonins are healthier than most. While the best foods, morning constitutionals, and a, very, and a strong work ethic, we have some immunity to disease that afflict less vibrant folk. Lastly, mining dust was found in trace amounts in Sarkanos e even during the time of Dunwall's Great Crisis, and that dust played a critical role. It's true that the plague was spread by rats, but some natural philosophers now believe that it was also carried on wind currents. As such, we can be thankful that in addition to bringing us wealth from silver, the mines also protected us from the greatest plague in living memory. Yeah, because... Sure, whatever you have to tell yourselves. The Silver Spike. Genius inventor can barely recall his own name. Kieran Jindos has loses his smarts in a bold experiment gone wrong. You know him as the grand inventor, the genius of our time, but that was before his latest experiment went somehow wrong leaving the man a blubbering shell of his former self. Scandalous, but true. Servants are gleefully coming forward with stories of the once great inventor now barely able to navigate from rumor to room. One woman claims that Jindosh is now unable to determine which way to turn a simple bolt. Everyone knows it's righty-tighty, she said. Another worded openly, wondered openly whether Jindosh may have been using his pupil's ideas all along, thinking he's a genius to gain reputation. Oh, sorry. Allegedly a cruel employer, a sadistic, sadistic in his dismissal of his staff's basic needs, there is one cu curious turn in the story. Those closest to the inventor claim that he is now gentle as a lamb. We done fucked him up good.
Okay, I have issues about that corpse. Right there. Black Bone Charm Notes. Fifth, I set out to create a new bone charm and hope and I hope to have it black in, in keeping with those greater of greater power. It will complement the one I've carried since finding it within a mausoleum in Alba. Though it's rare to meet others touched by the void, summoners beware as for as long as I carry that bone charm, their rats and vermin will turn against them. And the new charm, if it works, will shield me against assassins. I'm working on my protective charm. I've taken the Tivian Grey Bone Recipe and altered it, using much more burned, burned burdock root. The instructions were vague, and the safeguards it offers are weak. Neither chamomile nor nasturtiums added to the mix give me the right effect. Though they perfume the air quite nicely, I feel well protected from unpleasant smells, but not much else. Whether I finally got it hell, hellebore, of course, fermented and... Reduced over a low flame, it's rare to achieve this effect, where the bone charm turns darkest black. As I wanted, I'm warded against the first bullet or bolt from an assassin weapon. The initial shot that would fell me will instead change to blood flies in an instant. Hmm. Fleet fighter. Let's take a look. Your movement is not slow when your weapons are unsheathed. Hmm. Not a huge issue, really, at the current state, so... <clears throat> Nothing else seems to pop out in here. That's probably her right there. Okay. A bad feeling about that. Take Looks those. like Kieran Jindosh made these alternate lenses for Ashworth's device. Now I can use them to sabotage it. Rena Ashworth's notes. The original lenses Jinjash and I devised with or or a callum were horribly flawed. Rather than focused on the energies of the void, the faulty lenses scattered them. My head was filled with noise, and the spiritual channel that could be to allow us magic was nearly extinguished. I would not cease my efforts until our coven controls this or the oracular order. But I know now that I proceed at grave risk. The old lenses could have been my ruin. They are now stored in my workshop for now, but it must be destroyed. Okay. I read this. Okay. A precise history by the creator himself, Kieran Jindosh, Grand Zirconian Inventor. Chapter 23. Dear re readers. Dear readers, you'll be fascinated to know that earlier models of my clockwork soldier had human-like faces. Allow me to explain. As you know from chapters 18 through 22, I had been testing the clockwork soldiers against a wide range of enemies. Early in this process, a problem emerged. The would-be thieves and the assailants were not intimidated by delicate ceramic faces of the earlier prototypes. One criminal even believed he recognized an uncle and attempted conversation. Undeterred, I set about re redesigning the head mechanism, encasing it with a terrifying visage. I knew I had found the right design when my first test subjects fell to their knees in fear. Let's just... Rob her blind while we're here. One those. I saw that and it startled me for a second. Okay, I'm pulling that. Yep. 
It's been difficult to create effigies for the oracular sisters. They keep to themselves, rarely venturing outside and possibly get the hair and nail clippings I need. But I have an idea. If the sisters are linked through beyond, even beyond death, then I can use the bones of their dead, dug from an abbey graveyard, to attune the oraculum, oraculum to the minds of living sisters. It's done. Al Aldolfina and several others brought back a wagon full of coffins. I'll start a new, on new effigies at once. Still only faint voices, nothing near the connection required to give their dream, their dreams. I must adjust the lenses, refine the effigies, sleep with their skulls beneath my blankets for a few nights more, perhaps integrate the scarves they use to cover their eyes. 21st day, Delilah is anxious about my progress, and yet there's not much to tell. I was able to interrupt several oracular sisters in conversation, leaving them momentarily at a loss for words. I'm confident that soon enough I'll be able to make them say whatever I wish. Then I'll have news from my empress in Dunwall. Twenty-third day. At last, I held one of the sisters in a trance-like state for an hour. Delilah was ecstatic, assuming we will control the oracular order. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. to turn that on in a second. Close this to prevent that from becoming an issue. Yummy. Just get that out of there. <laughs> okay. I meant nothing to my fine family. Beyond an advantageous marriage and years of childbearing. They promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's bank and raced away from my life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days. Well, either way, I managed to, uh, get the thing I needed here. Alright, let me do this from probably over here. No, I'm not gonna murder everything! This is a, you know damn well that this is not a, a murder hobo playthrough. All right, let's uh... now to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the void. What's left to do is hit the switch, and Ashworth should be powerless. Shouldn't she need to be standing here, though? I don't think this is going to do anything. What do I do now? I'm ruined. I'm here. 
are things I could do. The touch of the bond. The Lila. It was everything I had. Oh, goodbye, bitch. Have fun. I'm gonna kill your dog thing. Oh, the game's gonna be much shorter if I was to do that. I know that for a fact. Um. Oh, those things went away. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, but I do want to go back to the office, her little office, to look to where I wasn't before. Let me go upstairs one more level for that. Wait, are all the people gone too? If all the people are gone, I got... If I have free reign to fucking explore, I'm gonna do it. Because they're not up there anymore. Well, they're still here. The others start walking around. See, is that dog gone? Or is it still there? It appears to be gone too. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's loot. It's fucking loot. Did they all just fall unconscious when I did that? Hmm. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Royal Protector. I see you there, back in the city that spawned you. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done. A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. This is only the start. You've pissed all over everything, but you'll pay for it. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, Corvo Atano. I wonder, if you didn't have hate, Delilah, what would you have? All right. Well, that happened. Oh, God. Those people freaking fall their deaths because they, uh... Oh. Slug splintering wedges. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a few things I can grab in here. I think. Uh, before I grab that, just look for other shit. Nothing in the cabinet, but there's just two notes here. The key. Ooh, another thing there. Yep. <clears throat> That's what I thought. What's this? Proposal from Curator Hayden. To Brianna Ashworth, Curator of the Royal Conservatory. Although we have never met, we share occupations, overseeing cultural artifacts and historical oddities. You and Sarkanos, and me and Morlay. If I have heard much about you and have long admired the stories regarding your ex exhibits. 
As a matter at hand, I propose an artistic exchange at the Morlay Gallery of History and Sculpture. We have works by many of the greats, including Anton Sokolov himself. Additionally, we have many unearthed art items of a much unusual quality, which never failed to amuse and bewilder the public. But we would like to broaden our coverage. To that end, would you be interested in an exchange? I'm particularly eager to get my hands on, this, on some of your works in your conservatory's collection, me collection Mechanized Fauna. And I hope's Finn Hayden, curator, Morley Gallery of History and Sculpture. <clears throat> Done straightening up. Mistress Brianna, like you asked, I stored your audiographic recordings in the archive down there in the basement, and I tied it up around the Orak Orakalum. As you asked, some of the others were talking about the old lenses you took out of the Orakalum device after the accident, saying they were going to bury them lenses forever at the bottom of the ocean. Well, that didn't sound right to me. So I just store them in the effigies workshop in case you find some, some use. All my other chores are done, so I'll prepare your your leche thistle tea. I'm grateful for the second chance you've given me. I'm sure over time I feel Delilah's presence. I'll feel Delilah's presence and learn the magic. I, I like my coven sisters. Please don't cast me out. I'll make you and Empress Delilah proud. I promise, Karina. There was a key there too. I'm going to Delilah to Delilah. Delilah, when we can't talk, I write. There are things only you will understand. Daily, I feel my connection to the void growing. And through me, your power calls out to those who would join our coven. New faces, new voices. Our bond is stronger than it was at Brigmire, Brigmore. Yet you feel so far away. If we were together, I could say more. It is as if I can see beyond the air into another time or place. You have parted a certain... A, you have parted a curtain I never knew was there. Oh, Delilah, strange and beautiful whispers are carried in the breeze. I am forever grateful that of being your instrument. All right, then. Uh, hmm. That's nothing. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I've already read this. How silly of me. Uh, let's go this way. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, they all fell unconscious. Uh, so... Hmm. Ah, oh, shit. I want these coins. Coin, coin, coin! Okay, oh, I think I avoided doing those because I didn't want to get spotted or something. I don't remember. You know what, I think I got most of everything in this place. I'm not too worried about finding the rest. Huh. That was a movable statue at one point, I guess. I hope those ones didn't just fall to their death. That might have happened. Hopefully it doesn't count against me because I didn't I did not kill them. Gravity did. Loophole. Uh nothing down here. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and go. We're done. I believe we are finished. With this mission. Very good. Alright, let's that away. Sprint, Corvo. Run, old man. What's that? Where did that guy come from? Who's that? Hey, 
What the fuck? Let's go. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. And then next game, to you honest, try to kill the outsider. This, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now. But I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Whatever happened in Dunwall was a long time ago, Megan. Long time. I felt like that. Seems like yesterday. It's been a long time since I... Yes. Yeah, let's go. Uh, yeah. Let's get the hell out of here before they keep shooting at us. Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Circonos and Delilah. Yeah, that's at least two more people. Okay. Yeah, no one killed. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. How bad that I do on my... Wait, what? I missed? How? I didn't see any. Hmm. Odd. Alright. Press any key. Three years ago, Delilah was laying her plans. The Duke's people gathered at the home of a mine baron named... Aramis Stilton to commit some horror in her name. I need to know how they made her immortal. But where was I three years ago? Letting Emily daydream through council meetings, teaching her fencing and back alley fighting. I always expected an enemy we could put down with a sword. Soldiers, spies, assassins. Instead we got something else. Beyond the pale. Beyond the natural world. Instead we got hit by someone like me. Except different. One sec, I need to freaking take my sweatshirt up because I'm burning up in here. Alright then. <laughs> this time 3 is a prequel where you play it's Layla. No. That's freaking stupid. Uh, let's go ahead and just do this. Dust District. Alright, let's go ahead and just get all those down, the lore down, ba ba ba. Somehow I'm missing, I missed some of those. I have eight runes. What's this? Hmm, that could be interesting, it could be useful. This is... What's this? You can Sparta kick. Uh, that might actually be nice. Right there. Uh, I have most of these. What's this? Oh, it's chain. Uh, it's bend time. Also useful. Not as useful. Yeah, of course that's noisy. Uh... Not necessary. It could be interesting. Okay, so you, you probably put... If you're doing uh, uh, a non-whatever playthrough, this is probably where you're putting your shit. Okay. Shadow 
kill. I kind of want to do this. Well, the, the thing with Borderlands, they made a pre-sequel. Let's go and buy this. I want to look at. I want to look at this. Sacrifice runes to gain a significant amount of whalebone. Okay. Uh. To discover new traits. Okay, uh... What's one I'm never gonna use? Probably that. I'm never using this. I'm gonna take that to my I'm gonna some touch drop grenades. Get rid of this. Uh, okay, let's, uh, what traits do I know? Okay, so it's stuff that I already then fuck it. I don't want it. I don't care. Was that there the whole time? I don't know. All right. Uh Oh, there's a note. I see a note. Note from Bangan. While you were resting up, I had the old man drop me off so I could check out the dust district. I'll meet you there and pass along whatever I learn. Come find me when you're awake. Appears to be gone. Let's listen to this. My mind is finally clearing. Now I can return to my work here, helping those who need. If I haven't already listened to this. What can I say about what you've done for me? Save me from madness and worse, from giving in to a life of sadistic brutality. How could I ever repay you for that? So she's remembering. Okay. Interesting. Okay, there was something in here. Anton, that tin of putty was meant for the porthole seals. I see you've smeared it all over the canvas. Is that your idea of art, and how will that keep the rain out? Do your painting, or whatever it is, but use your own things. Leave my stuff alone. I'm trying to run a ship here. Also, your snoring is dreadful. Can't you prop up on, uh, prop up your pillow? You're always bragging about some old thing you invented. Well, invent something for that. <laughs> Why don't you, Megan? Okay. Anything bugging down here now? 
Any more issues we have to deal with? I think last time it was blood flies. Is it going to talk about rats next? Or are we done with this? With the fixing of the ship and all that stuff. Alright, let's head upstairs. Talk to Sokolov last. Oh. So the royal protector is headed into the dust district. Corvo says he hasn't been back in a long time. And I can't blame him for that. According to Sokolov, he'll be trying to get into Aramis Stilton's house. <laughs> Not easy. I've tried. Stilton was a friend. Even as a mine owner, he was a good man who came up from working people. I never forgot it. I went looking for him the night he disappeared. But the house was swarming with the Grand Guard. Oh, good. <laughs> I showed them what I was worth, but it cost me. I'll live to see that score settled. Okay, so that's, that's good. <laughs> Nothing else really seems to be out here. Just wanted to make sure before I do anything. Are you talking about Borderlands 3 or Dishonored 3? If they ever make one. Since the death of the outsider is kind of like a different thing. Its own thing. You know what, let's just, let's just go down here. Uh Yeah. Oh, god damn it. I need to find the freaking water. I can do that now. Making is out in the city, but I'll explain. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry. I put that back in for you. Note from Sokolov. Corvo, it's true. I don't tinker with mechanical devices much anymore, but I'm not as not so old as to be useless just yet. Behold, I have fashioned a little <coughs> contravents for you, only using parts scavenged from this fractured vessel. Yes, all right. A few bits were currently in use, but I assure you none were involved in keeping us afloat. And nothing to Megan, as her disposition needs no further souring. In any case, may this device serve you well, Sokolov. Ah. I haven't been killing people, dude. Why are you touching up that painting of that bitch? So many years. I never expected to be so tired. And that's still locked. I came to Karnaka for the military premiere. You know this. Alright, where's the freaking where's the sink? I need a sink. Give me a sink. Is there one in here? Of course not. Uh, is there one in my room? Yes, there's a sink in my room. Gimme. Okay, so it just slowly fills it in, and then it recharges. It doesn't, like, instantly give it to you. to understanding Delilah's secret. Now for the next step. Indeed. Let's see. I knew plenty <clears throat> of people like Paolo growing up. Maybe not as crafty. Right. Vice overseer Byrne. I dread each interaction with the Abbey. To the old Batista neighborhoods. Full of mining families. Called the Dust District now. So that's our next location, I guess. Uh, if I put people to work down in a mine, I'd want to live in a fortified bunker too. So. Let's see the silver spike. How fucking long is this? Okay. Have I read this. 
Nope. Guest editor, we don't need the Abbey. Take heed, friends. The Abbey seeks to control our city and our lives. The overseers are building chapels and outposts, taking advantage of the despair in the crumbling corners of Sarkanos, like our own infamous Dust District. You may have seen the sly propaganda for my learned rival, Sebastian Artemidge, but consider with care. The Abbey will invade your homes, looking for evidence of witchcraft or wrongdoing, and to them all manner of possessions are suspicious. They imprison and torture the innocent with the intent of extracting confessions. They frown on dancing, drinking, and gatherings. Are you prepared to abandon the Gleaner's fest Feast? Are you ready to submit completely as they demand? The Dust District can only be saved by the very people who have lived here all their lives, like me, like you, like Paolo and his howlers, trying to make things better for us small people. Oh yeah, that's, that's great, dude. Patrolling our streets, collecting and distributing resources to the ones in need... If more of us had Paolo's courage, maybe the Dust District could be called Bastia Inst again. Mavis Anto. Okay. No more witches in Karnaka. That's right, so where we've taken out uh, Jindosh, this first dude, the uh, Crown Killer, and her friend. All right. <clears throat> oh, on Howlers. Guest editor of the Howler Blight. The letter published last week by the Gazette was an outrage. How could Madame Anto suggest that the Dust District and even Karnaka itself would be better off if we legitimized Paolo and his Howlers in any way? Instead, decent folk should hope to wake one morning and read that Paolo is finally dead or in jail. And why should we be wary of the Abbey? Only a witch need worry about the wrath of the overseers. The Howlers are nothing but a bunch of cutthroats who never worked a day in their life. Everything they have, they stole. If you want their so-called protection, it comes at a price. On the contrary, the overseers have dedicated their lives to spreading the good values of the seven scriptures. Strictures. Believe me, the dust in Bastia is not in our streets, but in our hearts. And only the Abbey will make us clean again. Sebastian Artemidge. <coughs> All right. Um. All right. Let's. Uh, yeah. Let's. Let's do this. I've done everything. Wait. Oh. Nice, dude. I need to know why Delilah can't be killed. Everything we've learned implies that something strange happened to Darima Stilton's home three years ago, but then he disappeared. Stilton lived in a bunker kept secure by a fancy lock. I get to fight more fucking robots. I don't want to fight more robots. I have to get there first through a ruin created by the Duke, where I used to live. Megan had an intriguing idea. Howlo is leader of the Howlers. He wants Vice Overseer Burn killed, and of course, Burn wants Paolo dead too. Both groups will attack you on sight, but walk in with the corpse of their chief enemy, and they'll treat you like. Family. So that gives me at least one way into Aramis Stilton's house. I'm pretty sure that will work. Yeah, corpse. Coming back here, seeing it changed, run into the ground. Some people have reached beyond others. All right, well, I believe it is time to go. And fail at stealth for the ten billionth time. Right. All right. What's that? Did you hear something, dude? I didn't hear anything. Hmm. He must be senile in his old age. A wee bit senile. Yeah, well, he was also tortured a bit, too, so... That can also be something that's causing him problems, I guess. Whatever happened to, uh... Samuel? Was that who it is? Samuel? Whatever happened to him? It's been, it's been a while since I've seen him. Ready now? Yep, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'll get you as close as I can. I didn't know Aramis. 
Thomas Stilton. Who was he? Loyal to the old Duke. Stilton helped build modern Karnaka with those silver mines. Worked his way up from nothing to a fortified mansion. Hmm. But the new Duke spends money so fast. The mine crews work all day and all night. The district's in ruins. The dust drives out anyone except the most desperate. The Duke of Circonos has made a mess of things. His father was a good man. True, but the new Duke's misery is only being possible with Dunwall's support. In any case, you'll have to pass through the dust district. Maybe Great. Stilton's still in there. Or maybe he's dead. Oh, uh, yeah. Dust district. Bastia Mining District. Find Megan once you reach the dust district. She'll tell you more. I'll wait here with this skiff and take you back to the dreadful whale after you finish. Alright, man. It's over there. Um. Alright. There. Oh, there's a lot of shit. There is a lot of shit here. What's, what's back here? Anything? Um. What? Whalebone? That's cool. Um. Oh, was I supposed to? I was supposed to come this way. <laughs> I just went the other way to get here. All right. Hmm. Batista Overlook. Hmm. Okay, so... Alright, so this is great. Anyone here? Show yourself. What the? What's that? Okay. It's going that way. That's good. Oh, here's a pistol. All right. Managed to avoid actually being seen completely, so that's that's good. He's just suspicious. It's fine. Just that I it's, I totally haven't already failed stealth.
This is good. Okay. Oh, wow, they are all in there. I did not know if they fucking noticed me. And they are persistent bastards, aren't they? So that window cannot be used. Hmm. All right. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. All good in the hood. That's just cringy as shit coming from me. Totally cringy. It's not cringy. All right, um... All apples and slippers. All right, there's a person right there. And one over there. Oh, I bet you can use the dust storms to your advantage for like stealth and stuff. All right. Just plop you right there. Hey bud, how you doing? Right, I need to find a place to put these guys that will not get seen if people happen to come up here and investigate. So I'm going to put them up here. They had one hell of a wild night. Because the moment I turn that off, people are going to come looking. Potentially. So I'm going to pick up these people and put them up top. Right, come here. Come with me, bud. Alright, just plop you right here. And because soon I'm going to go up there and uh, turn off whatever the hell they're worried about. Hmm. Okay. You know, there's some flammable alcohol in here, here, in case I have to figure out where some blood flies are and destroy them.
That's going to be a new article. Right, and we'll put you right next to your buds. Three dudes just napping. That possession thing is so freaking nice. All right. Uh, mine collapses, numerous casualties. A representative from the Miners' Family Committee reports that another silver mine has partially collapsed, leaving eight miners injured and killing 12. The committee maintains that the Duke's unrealistic production goals were the true culprit, saying that overlong shifts that have been in practice since mine owner Aramis Stilton disappeared. The mines are now managed directly by the Grand Palace until such time as Stilton returns, or until a new director can be found. However, the Grand Palace's official statement blamed the collapse of human on human error and threatened to arrest anyone found guilty of demoralizing the people of Karnaka. We at the Karnakan, Karnaka Gazette certainly support the effort to maintain Sirkano's unity. Our thoughts go to the families of those injured or killed. Just uh, pop on up here. Pull the lever. Anyone's gonna come up here or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Adamire solution that's in here. Uh, save it real quick and take a look around. I might have to start from the back and mark my way around to, uh, Take them out, slowly but surely. Just need to remove some of these people from the equation, definitely. Oh, so this is what you use to do it, I guess. See him before. This thing is connected to one of the windmills. It's not supposed to turn off. Ever. Nice. I think I have to take him out. Like a stocking without a leg? That's what. Nothing. Worse than nothing. Never burn the Only something. Just some little bit of excitement once in a while. Okay, well, he's gonna be going over there. For the time being. Um. I need to take him. I think I can get him, then the red guy. And then I can move around a bit more. Blood 
butterflies for a second. Two more months, she says. Then she'll leave him. I can. That scared me to death. Something what? bad. It's a Maybe it's nothing. Thunder or something. Honestly, people jump the littlest things. Gotcha. All right, found. Got this guy. I'll lean him up right here. Problem is, I don't know their pathing. No, I'm not going to throw the fucking whale oil at him. That's a terrible idea. I'm always alert. Always. I don't gotta say it twice. Always alert, huh? Sure, bud. Thank you. Okay, I'll put you back here. Because I don't think you're going to be seen from back here. I don't know if there's any more of these guys, which is a problem. Or if he's the last one. He appears to be the last one. Unless one actually went up top. Which I need to check. And you can just lay back here with your bud. I'll lay a little further. There we go. There you go. All right. Um. And make sure there's not one of these dudes up top. Figured out that way to do things. I wonder if you're supposed to take the wall out, or there, there's probably there's gonna be another way to get around this uh, besides that wall. They wouldn't make that the only way to get around it. Disabling the wall. Wow. Would they? I don't think they would. Can a non... Whatever person even get up there? Up to the mill? Turn it off? Oh, I did not mean to do that. I have to go from there to there. But even that doesn't get around the wall. Unless the that actually messes with the wall itself, the storm here. Yeah, that appears to be it. You had to take the wall out. Huh. 
in some way, shape, or form. Hmm. Oh, okay. Just a lone one on this shoe. I didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, what's this? Oh, there is the other way around. Okay. I knew they'd put one in there. In that room there. Of course. Of course they would do that to me. Of course they put this freaking wall here. Alright, fine. Um, book. I've read that one. The miners here too far. I should do something to help them. Read that again. Uh, oh, right, yeah, I have read that before at one point. Peekaboo. What was that? Oh, that's just an alarm thing. Okay. Hello, Lord Protector. Stilton's home is just beyond here. But getting inside will take some effort. Oh, okay. I've been doing reconnaissance talking to people. The overseers and the howlers have divided up the district. Just ahead is neutral territory where no one will harass you. But further on, the howlers and the overseers both have boundaries set up. And beyond those points, they'll attack you on sight. Aaron the Stilton is the real goal. Sokolov said you'd worked out a plan. Yes. I believe that if you take out Paolo or Vice Overseer Byrne, the other one will grant you safe passage and will help you get inside Stilton's home. Neutralize either one of them and bring him to the other. Got anything else? Byrne is protected by the Overseers. Paolo has the Howlers, but I think he's also got some kind of black magic charm. Oh, good. They say he's got to die twice before the sun sets, or he can't be killed. Good luck with that. Maybe he has a bone charm we can steal from him. Spect. What's this? The Howlers and the Overseers have been digging each other over territory for a while. The whole district is holding its breath. Let the Grand Guard worry about it. It's not our priority. The Grand Guard's just another gang. People trust the Abbey or the Howlers more than Dunwall Tower. And whoever wins in the Dust District is going to inherit the city. Even if the Duke falls, no one's going to respect the Howlers enough to let them rule. You of all people should know better. Yeah, fine, fine, whatever. Oh, jeez, I thought that was a person. Um. Uh, 
sad news. Agatha, you can probably guess the reason for my letter. He died last night. He seemed a little better and took some broth. A little, little owl even got him laughing a bit. But the laughing turned to coughs that lasted for about an hour. And it stopped real sudden. Like he didn't have the strength to cough no more. Then he sort of spit up some black and more came out his nose. I tried to get him to the cough it all out. I turned him on his side. He slapped his back and put boiled onions on his chest. But it wasn't no use, and he died like that. Eyes bulging out and that black stuff everywhere. I'm taking the children moving back to Redmore. We never should have come here in the first place, Jillian. Okay, grab that. Um, how am I supposed to get into that one room down there? I mean, there must be a way. Oh, good. Told that people are complaining about dust from the mines falling on the city. Yes, war is expensive. You may not be aware that our silver mines are operating past full capacity in order to fund our conflict against the Northern Isles. That's not dust. It's the blood of our enemies. Okay, that guy's a real go-getter, isn't he? There must be a way past that f fucking thing. Not that way, apparently. get in there. Unfortunately, I don't have summon badger ability. So that's a no go. This, however, seems like a good. United Miners of Karnaka. Open the planter. Just to be a dick. And grab the room. There we go. Got it. All right, big open areas. My kind of the bane of my existence, and one of the bane that great I love. Uh, ba -ba -ba, nothing there. The crone's hand. Sakonis is finest. You never alone in the hand of the crone. Feeding place and purveyors of strong food and drink. Come one, come on, nothing else compares. Come with a five coin dice game, strong iron competitions held nightly. Betting encouraged, young gentlemen and ladies welcome, no age requirements. The first of the month is always ale night. Purchase three ales and get the fourth half for half. Easily found on Miramar Street in Dust District, formerly Batista District. Batista? 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 Something? All right, well. Let's see. Rest easy, Theodanus. You were a good man. Specifically said to, to kill one of them. Can you just knock him out and bring him to the other, maybe? I mean... That must be a thing, right? It has to be. I can get up there. What is your obsession with whale oil, man? Spilt to him while watching them. 
I was gonna pay him off for this sequence, but Delano left me and my legacy is taken away. I don't even understand what this is. I don't see any scenes. Jimmy's sister says it's a gimmick, like he wore it a real lot. Oh, find another way. No, this was built by Kieran Jindosh. He's very smart. He's the one who made the clockwork soldiers for the Duke. So can you open it? Or maybe just solve it? No, can't do either. It's a lock designed by a man who creates machines that kill people. You can keep your money. I'm not touching it. Uh, never mind. Maybe another time. Or not. Let's go. What are you covering your face for? Keep the dust out? That's exactly it, yes. It is a dust mask. A fancy dust mask. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I want to see what this riddle is. All right, at the dinner party were Lady Winslow, Dr. Marcola, Countess Conti, Madame, Madame Nazio, and Baroness Finch. The women sat in a row. They all wore different colors, and Lady Winslow wore a jaunty white hat. Dr. Marcola was, a, was at the far left, next to the guest wearing a green jacket. The lady in blue sat left of someone in purple. I remember that blue outfit because the woman spilled her absinthe all over it. Traveler from Debokva was dressed entirely in red. When one of the dinner guests bragged about her ring, the woman next to her said they were finer in Dabokva, Dabokva, where she lived. Sir Baroness Finch showed off a prized war medal, at which the lady from Ailton scoffed, saying it was no match for her bird pendant. Someone else carried the valuable snuff tin. When she saw it, the visitor from Dunwan Next to her, almost spilled her neighbor's wine. Madame Nazio raised her whiskey to toast. The lady from Fairpoint, Fairport, Fay, Frayport, full of beer, jumped onto the table, falling onto the guest in the center seat, spilling the poor woman's rum. Then Countess Canty captivated them with a the story about her wild youth in Karnaka. In the morning, there were four heirlooms under the table, the ring, the diamond, the, pen, the bird pendant, and the snuff tin. But who owned each? Snuff tin, bird pendant, diamond, and what is that? Metal? Alright, that's uh, interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'll just throw whale oil at the, at the door until it, until it works. Totally wasn't made by a famous guy or anything. anything. Came to see the infamous Jindosh lock, did you? Good luck with that. Impossible. This door was sealed by order of the Duke. He had that Kiri Jindosh build this special lock. All right. So this. He's a, like a howler danger at it. Who knows the solution to the Jindosh lock? But he's been captured by the overseers. Investigate their outposts to find out more. Hmm. Alright, so that might be the one to, do, to go with. Oh, it's above. Actually, I'm gonna. Uh, lock. Stay on your side or you'll be spitting tea. Far okay. Know, you might be an overseer spy. So that's what the howlers are. Okay.
Oh, hey. A uh, lock dude. Bosses beware when we are screwed, we multiply. And that's, I guess, where the overseers are. Hmm. First and foremost, let's go into the, uh, the lock shop. Hello? Or the safe shop. I thought you were one of Paolo's gang, but you don't look so bad up close. Why not if I have a look around, man? If I just kind of... Or I'd be blind. That thing moves really freaking easily. Being a freaking safe uh, door. district for most of my life if you believe this to be an inconvenience weigh it against losing your life to one of the howlers now go you up for a beer later? don't mess with the abbey stay in the neutral territory all right i was thinking of heading to my uncle's farm near segunto you can breathe there it wasn't always like this here, I can tell you that. All right, uh... Oh, map. Good. You bet. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Like the butterflies or whatever those are have, like, silver... Uh, w uh you can see on, see on their wings. is only for the workers and their families. Something tells me you're not one of them. I'm not. I just wanted to, was felt compelled to say hello. You know, be respectful. If Paolo gets his way, the law will mean even less than it does under the Duke. The Abbey, the Howlers, what's the difference? They're all bastards. Okay. And back for new miners. You're about to embark on a journey deep underground. The work is hard, but for people who dig deep, there is long-standing tradition behind the labor. Behind the culture itself, you will explore and excavate vast caverns in search of precious silver and other valuable ores. Your eyes may be the first to take in the grandeur of some of these underground grottos and seemingly endless shafts. 
However, as you must know, mining is one of the most dangerous jobs in the Empire of the Isles. Before you begin, it's essential you understand these basic safety rules. I always bring a day's, a full day's ration of food and water with you, too, if you can carry the extra weight. Be aware that canaries and sparrows are susceptible to invisible vapors and will swoon when harmful gases are present. Exit the mine immediately if this should happen to caged birds near you. Always wear the protective goggles and breathing apparatus provided by the foreman's office. Stay with your group at all times. Do not venture alone into unmarked caverns and tunnels. Watch those working around you for signs of exhaustion or dizziness. Keep one another safe. Demand for silver is at an all-time high, so work hard, stay safe, and keep the precious metal coming. Courtesy of the Miners' Union, paid for by Aramis Stilton. I assume that's probably how you get into the, uh, so you can rob the, uh, the black market, which is probably in here. Give me a handout. I'm not proud. Thank you, friend. If you're brave and you're looking to make some money, there's a back door to the Crone's Hand Saloon leading to the basement. You take care of business, you hear? I will. Okay, that's a way to get the Howler's area. They don't like much of anything, to be fair. See? See? I told you! Huh? Prepare for the miners. It's hard here, you know. The miners hate the dude, but they're lucky to have work. Watch yourself. One of the underground shops got robbed. Really? But you have to be the person who helped out one of ours in the conservatory district. Hmm, special discount for you then. Oh, cool. What do you have? This little war is scaring off customers. Armored bullet, okay. Let's just take a look. Let's see? I have some upgrade plans for your gear. Hey, okay. I don't want to I really don't want a ricocheting bullet. See what you have. Yeah, Anything you new? For, I serve all sides. Let's see. Digging through the artificial uh, a map of Aramay Stilton's home. This on a map. Of, ooh. Something I can do to keep. Sure. It. I'll take that deal. Come back soon. I mean, if I'm still here. How much for that back there? I have to actually break into this one to get that. I mean, there is probably a, a, a more, uh, uh, a less subtle way to get in there. I just want the bone charm. It's in here. Hmm. All right. Well, you know what time it is, everyone. Time to uh, cheese this terrible lock. Just set these all to zero, and we can begin. All right. What is your obsession, man?
I don't know if it'll actually say anything when it happens, though. Damn it. You guys are nuts. You know that? This one might not be as easy to cheese because I don't know if it's going to stop and say, you got it, when it hits or what. Because it says locked. Well, speak of the devil. Unsteady hand. Uh, let's see what this is. Enemies miss with fire projectiles more often. Hmm. What I want is, uh, I need a bone charm. No, I'm not gonna choke out the frickin' person that sells me shit. That's insane. How's our way to get upstairs? I might have to break that door. Or was that something else? Probably where that goes. So that's not the way to get into the, uh, whatchamacallit place. Oh, this is how you get in there. Hmm. Money, whalebone. Let's see. Sendiary bolt. But how do I get in that one house? Cabello, are you sure you know what you're doing? I studied field tactics with Brother Cardoza in the peninsula. I have a crew there resort to these same dirty tricks. Seems like a good way to take a dog to the belly. Well, the howlers aren't known for their caution. But these aren't too hard to deal with. If you've got a steady hand and you know what tables to cut, you've got to do it just. Wait a second. He's gonna kill himself. Better not. Well, the thing is, that one person wasn't selling a bone charm, so that would do absolutely nothing. Oh, nope. Um... Oh. There's things down there. I didn't notice this. 
I hadn't noticed that before. Um. Good to me. There's that window right there. I want to get in there. Uh, am I just, is this too? Hmm. Yeah, basically, right above this one. Okay, so that window is not actually completely open. You right, bud? You don't look alright. Hmm. Here's the thing. I can get in there. I know how to get in there. I should be able to get in there. Uh, let's see, possession. Should be able to get in there. Apparently that freaking blocks that from happening. Locked from the inside. That's no way to live. They wouldn't just have that in there if there was no way to get in. There's got to be a way to get in somehow. I need to figure out the how. This is going to bug me until I can get in there. <laughs> Figured it out. All right. Got it. Paolo. Some wise ass has been robbing black market chains. Made it in Boston. Hope you find out too. Yeah, they're not too happy about me taking their shit. I'm robbing this guy blind. That's why the hell not. this. Unsent letter. Oh, wedding sobergraph. 
Wed the month of rain, a love without refrain. Madati Silvergraph Studio capturing special moments. I'd close these for you, man, but that's just, I can't. I'm sorry. Unsent letter. Sweetheart, I'm still not sure when I'll be able to join you. I can't close up the shop or leave my brother alone right now. Running a black market business is every bit as tricky as I always imagined. The conflict of the in the district shows no signs of abating. Day and night, we hear the overseer gunshots and those screaming bolts used by the howlers. We stay inside, hoping for all this to end soon. Whenever I feel sad, I look at our wedding silver graph, or whatever special day that was. I have an anniversary surprise for you, and I'm not, well, not sure I'll be able to wait to give it to you. Stay safe, my dear. I love you, Martha. Well, hopefully that thing that we took from her wasn't the thing it might have been. We just stole her shit. And robbed her house, too. Okay. I feel good about myself. How about you? I want to get up there without causing a huge ruckus, you know? Oh, this. A bottle of Orden Run for each Overseer mask. The gangs were at each other's throats even when I was young, but now it's against the Abbey. Oh, triggered housing. That's new. All right. Hello? Right, so. Here more. Come here. All right, got them. I love the blood fly infestations, huh? Alright, there we go. Got that rune. Very good. Upstairs before I continue. 
Or before I go, I'm gonna go up here before we're downstairs. Hmm. And blood flies are fucking everywhere, aren't they? What's the point of back here? <laughs> Doesn't seem to be one. To be honest. Can I get the higher levels up there? No? What's the point? That? Literally the same level? Alright. Ah. Me. Yeah, I know what to do with the fucking bottles. Thanks a lot. I totally still need a tutorial on that. I right, was it out here? I'm just gonna sure do love to do things, don't they? Hey, hey, hey. That was funny. Funky. Alright. Oh. That's that door that's like right out there that you can break open the the things. I'm curious if there's just stuff that I missed out here. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, so... This is what this leads to, of course. How silly of me. Uh, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there for this evening. Right here. This seems like a good place to stop. And look at the window. Make a hard save. Thank you all so much for joining me tonight. Wow, we have 21 hours of playtime in this. Isn't that great? Because I do this slowly and explore everything and take everyone out. I did it the save, right? Yeah. But yes, thank you all so much for joining me. No, no whale oil, okay? We don't need it. We definitely don't need it. But I need to pee. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Thank you all so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Let's see if we can find someone for you. Good night, everyone. Mm -hmm.